हेलो किड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फर्दर टॉपिक्स दैट इज वर्क बुक व्यूज सो अ व्यू इज सिंपली अ वे ऑफ मैनेजिंग एंड रिप्रेजेंटिंग द वर्कशीट सो ओपन ऑफिस कैलसी प्रोवाइड अस थ्री व्यूज फर्स्ट वन इज योर नॉर्मल व्यू नॉर्मल इज द डिफॉल्ट व्यू नॉर्मली विच यू आर यू आर एबल टू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन सो द जूम स्लाइडर इन द बॉटम राइट हैंड कॉर्नर कैन बी यूज टू एडजस्ट द मैग्निफिकेशन लेवल दिस यू कैन सी from this you can either zoom in or zoom out see this is decreasing the size of the screen and this is increasing the size of the cells your next view is see from here you can see you can go to the view menu first is your normal view second is your page break preview okay page break uh, page break preview gives the view of the worksheet in the page format and third is your full screen so if you go to the view menu and you can see the full screen you can see the whole screen is captured or occupied by the screen of your document okay so these are the three views next is your range name see a range is a defined group of consecutive cells so when an operation is performed on a range it is performed on all the components of the range see uh, we can use it using the mouse or using the keyboard you can see suppose i am selecting from here with the help of keyboard i am using this now you can see what is the range range is from this cell is a2 and this is your g14 so what will be the range the range will be a2 to g14 here you can see a2 to g14 and whenever you are giving the range you have to put the colon sign in between okay suppose now we are taking this now this we are uh, selecting with the help of a mouse so this one is what h11 and this is what m18 so the range will be h11 to m18 so this is how we can calculate the range we can calculate the range using the mouse or using the keyboard and when we are selecting the range with the help of keyboard we can use the keyboards arrow keys uh, top left bottom right okay now the another method is like i have selected this range after that we will go to the insert from here we can go to the names in this we can select define now here we can enter the name of the range and after that we can click on okay button then your next topic is different ways to enter the data in a spreadsheet see we can enter data only in the active cell active cell means the selected cell like this one or any cell which has been selected that is the active cell so it have a black border around it and it is also known as a cell pointer now you see one thing suppose here we are entering the data 1024 or whatever we are writing here you will see that two signs come okay this one is cancel and this one is accept so this is what tick mark and this is cross okay so the cross means it is called the cancel button and can be used to cancel the entry of the data that you are in the process of entering and you must cancel the entry before you press the enter key and it is equivalent to pressing the escape key on your keyboard and the check mark is also the enter button and clicking it's equivalent to pressing the enter key on your keyboard so when you press enter key you may find that you are automatically moved one cell down on your worksheet now you see this i've clicked on the check that means this value has been entered now if i enter here 502 and if i cross that means we have cancelled the data entry now next thing is you are moving your cursor either with the mouse or the keyboard will automatically cause the data to be entered and move the active cell to the new cell chosen so in this what data we can enter we can enter the numbers we can enter the text text means the alphabets and then third thing we can enter is the formulas formulas where we can enter formulas we can write here now numbers you know numbers are what it is from 0 to 
uh, even we can add the numeric uh, characters like plus minus uh, exponential percentile dollar etc and uh, to avoid entering fraction as date precede fractions with the equal sign okay we can put the equal sign like 1 by 25 we don't write in value in the points so calci store up to maximum of 15 digits per number if we are entering any number so it will maximum enter to 15 digits of number now you see i have entered more than 15 digits so as i will click here now you can see the data will be converted to exponential digits so the number of decimals displays depend on the column width okay if a cell displays a number of signs like suppose uh, if a cell is displaying hash 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 like this that means double click the right border of the column heading to widen the column it may be sometimes that the column width is less so that's why it's showing like this okay next thing is your text so text you know it can be any alphabet text is a combination of numbers it can be spaces non numerical characters like we can write title 456 we can write it like that then uh, the text in a cell will automatically be left justified you can see it is left justified it is not to the right side calci handles text in unique way and one thing you can notice the text is always left aligned and numbers are always right aligned next is your formulas see it is the ability to enter text and number is not very useful unless you can do something with them so you need to do the calculations you need to apply the formulas you need to uh, make the perform the mathematical operations so for that a formula is a set of mathematical instructions that can be used in calci to perform calculations so whenever we are applying any formula first thing we need to put is equal to sign okay and formula can contain arithmetic operators arithmetic operators are like plus minus multiply then your division okay so uh, greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to not equal to exponent all these are the uh, alphanumeric uh, sorry arithmetic operators and the comparison operators so they are called logical formulas so formula is what it is an equation that performed operations on a worksheet data okay like we can perform we can write a formula is equals to we can write first we have to put the equal to sign then we can write like uh, c6 plus c7 or we can put equal to sorry now next thing you can calculate is like you can put the equal to sign a1 plus a2 plus a3 so all these are the formulas which you can apply now we are going to create a data in this we are going to enter the data so see how we will create a sheet first we will put the heading cheap journal store now you can see that this heading is coming in two columns so we need to increase the size of this so we have selected this from here you can increase the font size suppose we have selected 15 we have made it bold now it's coming in the boxes in the cells so what we have to do we have to merge these cells so you will select all them go to the format from here you can merge cell so this is how after that we will enter the data in the column first is your serial number suppose here we are writing in the next column we are writing items in the third column we are writing quantity in the fourth column we are writing rate and in the fifth column we are writing the amount so here we can put the entries enter the data like serial number one two three three four and five items you can 
keep like bread butter milk rice and biscuit here you can write down the quantities like 4 5 6 3 2 and here you will write the rates like bread is for uh, 30 rupees then butter is for suppose 40 rupees then milk is for 40 rupees then your rice is for 30 rupees then biscuits for 20 rupees so we have written the quantity and the rate now we will select this whole data and we can select this center alignment so that data can be uh, data should be visible properly now here items should be aligned left now you can see here we have to calculate the total amount this should be made bold and these headings can also be made bold we can even increase the size of these now this our table is created now we will apply the different formulas to this see suppose now for calculating the amount we have to multiply the quantity with the rate so we will apply the formula here we will put the equal to sign now you can see what is the cell address of this the cell address is d6 and its cell address is e6 so we have to multiply these so we will write down d6 multiply e6 now enter now you can see the amount has been uh, calculated quantity into rate now same formula we want to apply all on these all, all of these now if we want to apply this formula to the all of these to butter milk rust biscuit what we are going to do we will click here now you can see the formula is displayed in the formula bar so after that you can press the right button of the mouse you will get a dialog box now you can see the formula is written here so you can copy it with the help of Control plus C or with the help of right clicking and selecting the copy okay the shortcut key for copy is Control plus C so now we will paste this in all the cells Control plus V and you can see the amount has been displayed so all of them are having the correct amount so that has been calculated now you see the shortcut for copy is Control plus C paste is Control plus V and for cut it it is Control plus X now next we want to calculate the total amount of all these things so the first address is f5 uh, f6 f7 f8 f9 and f10 so we have three formulas for this first thing is we can write down equal to then we can uh, write the address of all like f6 plus f7 plus f8 plus f9 plus f10 now press enter you will get the total of all these now next formula is is equals to we can write down some function in that we will put the bracket and we can write down uh, from f6 colon to f10 we will close the bracket and press enter now you will again get get the value the sum of that and the next method the third method is that we will select them now we will go to the data in this we will go to subtotals in subtotals you can select the sum and click on ok so you can get the value of them individually we got this value because we have selected group by but if we don't want to do that so you can select now we will do control z control z is used for undo undo now go to the tools first select this now go to data then subtotals 
then from here you will select the sum function this is the function and what is a function it is a predefined formula and you can save a lot of time by using these functions okay so in this you will click on this group by here you will select none now you can click ok so you will get the total of it ok kids so, uh, we are done till here next we are going to do in the next video go through it thank you all of you